1862, a successful pharmacist from Georgia named John Pemberton was recruited to fight in the Civil War for the Confederacy. At the time, he was happily married with his son and his very own pharmacy that was doing extremely well. But during one of the battles, John was severely wounded in his chest using both a sword and a gun. And although he survived, just barely, he came back with a severe and potentially life-threatening addiction to the painkiller morphine. As a pharmacist, John knew exactly how devastating this addiction could be. So, he began experimenting with tons of different substances and tonics to try and invent a medicine that could potentially alleviate or even cure all sorts of addictions. And eventually, using a mix of cocaine, cola nuts, soda water, and wine, he created a mixture that he thought would do exactly that. The drink, which was named Pemberton's Wine Coca, was immediately a huge hit, especially for its refreshing taste. But after alcohol was banned in 1886, John removed the wine and also made a few more small changes. The mixture that resulted is the drink that would eventually become known as Coca-Cola. Unfortunately though, John's new cocaine addiction eventually caused him to sell the rights to Coca-Cola for money. He died at the age of 57, broke, and still addicted.